guys. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Business Wednesday, also Jessica's Car Chronicles. I know you guys haven't seen me for like nine days. Nine days in nursing uniform. That's because I haven't worked in nine days. <laughs> um, but anyway, today we are going to talk about what to do when you get stuck in your business. You know, it can be really, really frustrating. So if that is something that it resonates with you, you want to continue watching. Um, if you have not friend requested, if you have not followed if you've not turned on your notifications what you need to be doing that you need to be doing that because I pretty much go live here Monday through Friday Monday through Saturday and I give you very very valuable content that is going to propel you in your business and personal life in all honesty okay so if you don't know who I am, my name is Jessica Hamas and I am a beauty influencer here on Facebook. I love to come on here to inspire and empower other people to live their very best life while staying true and authentic to themselves and not caring what other people think. So if that resonates with you, you definitely want to watch, okay? Um, feel free to share this with your friends because hello, sharing is caring, okay? So let's get down to business. Ha, see how I did that? See, see, see? <laughs> um, what to do when you get stuck. I have five tips today, okay? Number one, if you are struggling with belief in yourself, in your business, the power in this profession, you as a person, start some belief of those who, start taking belief from those who are around you. You know, people, people believe in you. Find people who believe in you and borrow it from them. Don't give up. Don't unplug. You know, you are here for a reason. Okay, you're here for a reason. So when you struggle, you want to hone in on those who believe in you. Plug into those who believe in you, okay? Number two, first off, give yourself some grace, okay? Having a business is frustrating. Having a business is hard work. It's network marketing, okay? You're building relationships and it takes some skills. It takes developing yourself. So give yourself some grace, okay? You know, we, we've started a new month. It's November. We are into the wonderful months of the holiday. It is the busiest season for those who are in direct sales and network marketing. Hands down, this is the busiest season and the, the best and fun season, in all honesty. And maybe last month you had goals. You know, of course, you had goals last month. But maybe you didn't hit them. That's okay. The thing is, is that you don't give up, okay? You didn't fail if you didn't hit your goals last month. It wasn't your time. So give yourself some grace, okay? No matter how much success you have, you're still human and you have to remember that. Don't get down on yourself in the rest of the year. Keep plugging away. It's a brand new month. Don't even look back on last month. What happened last month doesn't even matter now. What you need to do is focus on this month. Focus on each day. Focus on tasks that are productive for your business. Income producing activities, okay? Don't let this month go by because, whoa, poor is me, I didn't hit my goals last month. Don't let that happen to you, okay? Number three, stop lying to yourself, okay? Stop lying to yourself. You're either telling yourself that you can't do this. Maybe you are telling yourself, whoa, poor is me, mentality, negativity. You don't want to be having negativity in your business, okay? Negativity attracts negativity, and guess what? You are not going to go anywhere, Okay, stop the negative talk about your stop or stop the negative talk about yourself. Stop telling yourself that you're doing all the things when you really aren't. Are you really are you really doing everything that you can be doing for your business? I can guarantee you're not. Am I doing every single thing that I can for my business? I'm going to be truthful. Not always. Not every day. 
I'll be honest, you know, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to cut it real for you. I can guarantee you're not doing every single thing that you need to be doing for your business to be successful. If your business is going backwards, go back to when you had that passion, you know, go back to when you had that fire, really look at what it was that brought that fire to yourself. Okay. Yes, exactly. Um, I'm going to see if I can pronounce your name right. Kahia? Kahia? I like the way that sounds. <laughs> Focus on what you want and you will attract it. Absolutely. You have to put it out there. You have to you have to put it out in the universe, okay? You have to build, excuse me, you have to build yourself up. See, I get to rub my eye right now before I go into the hospital. Then I can't be doing that. <laughs> um but go back to what you were doing in your business when you were seeing momentum, when you were seeing growth. Go back to that passion, Kahia. So I was right? <gasps> I was right? Oh, that is so awesome. Um, go back to what was working for you, okay? Number four, are you actually serving your people? Are you actually serving your people? Not closing or selling, okay? Are you actually impacting other people's lives? Once you get a sale, that's where you start that's where you start serving them. And what I mean by teaching, training, sharing your knowledge, checking in with them, figuring out their goals, how they're trying to get better, start serving them. When you start serving people, the sales, the business partners happen. If you are focused on just selling and recruiting and not really impacting, not giving value, not serving people, you're not going to get very far. People want to be served. I'm going to be honest. People don't want to be sold to. If you're coming on here just to sell and you're just going live to directly out directly sell or directly recruit and you have that mentality in your brain, it's going to come across that way to people. So you've got to make sure that you are impacting people. You've got to give value. You have to be of service to them. Okay. Are you giving value? Are you coaching them? And number five, focus on leads, not sales. Focus on leads, not sales. Focus on conversations, okay? That's where it's at. You have to get to know people, okay? You need to invest in other people, not yourself, okay? You invest in yourself regarding developing yourself, but you need to be building relationships with other people, okay? How many conversations are you having? How many people are you actually talking to? How many people are you sharing the benefits of what it is that you have to offer? Are you seeing somebody who has a problem and you are trying to solve it? Become a problem solver. That's what people want. People want somebody who is investing in them and helping them solve their problem. Not specifically with your product. It can be a different product to help them out. Trust me, when you offer value to other people, you are impacting their life. And that's what it's all about in this world. So focus on the leads. Focus on that value. Focus on impacting other people. Focus on educating others. Focus on conversations okay this is a relationship building relationship building business plain and simple so those five little areas that you can hone in on when you are feeling stuck okay um i love that i love it okay so get out there Provide value to people. Don't be so focused on sales. You know, go with the leads. Build relationships. Impact people. Provide value. Okay? This is what it's all about. Because I want to see you succeed. Okay? I want to see you succeed.
So until my next video, stay true to yourself, be authentic, be genuine, show love to others, and of course, be kind. And I will talk with you guys later, all right? Okay, toodles!